Hello and welcome back to the MSC Review Connect. I have another video review I'd like to share with you. It's of another cool tool from Ushi van der Rosten, the Jigster. The Jigster is a small vise that allows the modeler to quickly and accurately cut precise miter joints from various scratch building materials. This tool is made from machined carbon steel and allows for a 45 degree angle or 90 degree angle cut. The vise works through the use of two sliding jaws held in place by threaded rods and knurled thumb nuts. The top jaw is for creating 45 degree angles and the lower jaw is for creating a 90 degree angle square cut. Inside both of the jaws of the vise, there are three small grooves which are used to hold wire, tubing or rod stock. There is also a small key wedge on both sections. This is used to square up flat stock and get a perfect edge while cutting and filing. This tool is extremely easy to use. Simply unscrew the thumb nuts allowing enough room to open the jaws enough to slide your stock in. For round stock, choose the correct size groove that will hold the piece securely. Place the material so it's slightly above the surface of the tool. Then using a small metal file, sanding stick or even sandpaper, you can smooth the material flush with the surface of the Jigster. Since the Jigster is made from carbon steel, you don't have to worry about damaging the surface of the tool. Small striations in the surface will appear, however the tool is unharmed. And just like that, a perfectly square edge to your part. For a smooth 45 degree edge, simply place your material in the top section of the Jigster, and in the same manner as in the square edge, use a file until the material is flush with the surface. If you'd like to save some time with the filing, you can always use a jeweler's saw to cut off the excess prior to filing. A squared end to any round stock is one of the more difficult things to obtain while cutting. The Jigster eliminates this. The Jigster works with pretty much all types of materials. Wire, tubing, solid rod, metal, styrene, and even small wooden dowels all work. On the bottom end of the Jigster, there are two small holes. These holes actually serve a few purposes. First, they can be used as a clamp for various wires of the same diameter. Slide the wire or rod stock in, tighten the set screw with the provided Allen wrench, and cut flush. The second use is to hold the depth gauge. The Jigster comes with a small L-shaped piece of rod. This is the depth gauge. Slide this into the hole at the desired height, then tighten the set screw. This will allow you to cut multiple pieces of stock at the exact same length over and over again. If you need a longer gauge, you can easily make one from a similar size copper wire or brass rod. Finally, the holes can be used to fasten the Jigster to any work surface. Install two nails or two solid rods into the surface that you wish the Jigster to be mounted to. Slide the Jigster on, tighten the set screws, and your Jigster becomes a micro bench vise. For squaring up small pieces of flat stock, slide your material in and push it up against the small key wedge inside the jaws. This will square the material to the surface of the tool. Then just like the round stock, Cut, sand, and file until flush with the surface of the Jigster. The Jigster makes miter cuts quickly and precisely, allowing for any modeler to build complex constructions when scratch building. For pricing and availability of the Jigster, check out the Ushi van der Rosten website. Thanks for watching the video.